Hey guys, it's Olivia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am taking you through my absolute favorite must-have beauty products of 2022. If you are new to makeup or if you're looking for new stuff or you just are like, what's good? This video is for you. I start with a bare face and I show every single product being applied and tell you why I love it. I'll have everything linked down below. You can really see it for yourself. I hope you guys all enjoy this video and let me know what your must-have beauty product of the year was please comment it i love shopping for new makeup that's like obviously one of the things i'm very passionate about i love you guys and enjoy the first thing i always have to do is prep my skin i've honestly gone through a bunch of different primers this year that i really like but road peptide glazing fluid really good actually so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on. I always prefer a primer that feels more like a moisturizer or I'll just straight up use a moisturizer. Um, I don't really like those ones that feel like silicone-y or anything like that. So I love this just cause it's like super hydrating. And then I'm also gonna go in with her Barrier Restore Cream. Again, you can really use, I think for this, any moisturizer that you love and that you feel hydrates your skin. Road is definitely on my best of beauty for 2022. I debated between showing you a foundation, sunscreen, tinted sunscreen, tinted moisturizer. We landed on foundation. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is in the shade three, fair, because I'm ghostly white right now. So the reason I love this foundation is because it's super glowy, it's super lightweight, it feels like you're basically wearing nothing on your skin. If you're a guy or a gal that kind of gravitates towards like a full coverage look, this probably isn't the best for you. It's very light and you guys know if you've watched my makeup videos for however many years, 10 years? Ew, am I that old? Sorry, when I was 14, I'm 23, nine years. Blech. Anyway, you'll know that I'm always big on the glow. So, a damp sponge. Here's just like rule of thumb when you have a beauty blender. You shouldn't be able to like wring any water out of it. Otherwise, your makeup's really gonna look awful. Like if you're applying your foundation or tinted moisturizer with like a soaking wet product, it's just not gonna look good. It's gonna like apply weird. It's gonna be like streaky and smudgy. So. If you do wet your beauty blender, make sure you like really wring it out. Moving on, concealer. Again, if you've been watching my videos for years, you know that this is just tried and true. LC Cosmetics, this concealer is so good. It's like so hydrating under your eyes. It doesn't dry out. That's the same fucking thing, Olivia. Um, I just really love it. I've been using it for years. Look at the difference. Immediately after I'm taking Charlotte Tilbury powder, this just brightens and locks everything in and is natural and beautiful. We love it. I'm big into spraying my face. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better setting spray. I just really love this one. It has hyaluronic acid, coconut water, and aloe extract. I have two options for bronzer this year. I've either been using the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand or this Chanel bronzer. <sighs> what am I going to use? I feel like everybody talks about this, so I'll use the Chanel one today to show you something different. This brush is so great. This is a Patrick Ta contour brush. I love it. It's just amazing. Just kind of carve the cheek with the brush and blend up. I'll contour my nose a little just to show you. I kind of just drag it down the natural lines. I don't really change the shape. I just like emphasizing that a little. Just like that. Put it on my eyes. I'm going to be using this YSL lip and cheek balm. And I like to apply a little on the back of my hand like that. Take my hand. A little at a time. My favorite highlight palette of the year is mine that I did with Sephora years ago. So I'm going to use it. Like, that's really the only thing I use. I can't even lie. 
This shade, I just apply. Ay, ay, ay. Now that that's all done, we're moving on to brows. Anastasia Brow Pen in Medium Brow. I really like this because it's just the easiest way to fill in my eyebrows. It's quick and it's precise because it has a very sharp point. To set my brows, I've been using the Anastasia Brow Freeze. Take a little, put it on the back of my hand because you really just need such a small amount of this. And then I'll start at the end and just set them. I'm also just gonna take a little of that blush again on my finger and put it on my eyelids. I am going to be using this Code 8 Eye Pencil. This company sent me their stuff and I had never heard of it before. This is their eye pencil in the shade Mocha. I like using a brown for like an everyday thing. It's a bit more natural. I'm gonna line my waterline and my tight line and smudge it at the top a little bit. It's like a smudgy wing. Fave mascara of the year is Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. I love this. Then with a little angled brush, I'm going to take some mascara on it. I'm just going to swipe this on the bottom lash. I've been loving this Code 8 Lip Surrealist Lip Pencil in the shade Salvador. Same brand as the eyeliner. Really bomb. I'm using this Urban Decay Lip Product Liquid Lip Color in Textum. Okay, you gotta trust the process and wait for that to dry. And that's it. Those are my 2022 beauty favorite products on my face, done deal. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed, happy, healthy 2023. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.